Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of the new save file. We are going for win number 20 and we're doing it as Tainted Azazel, which I feel is a reasonably safe one. I think Lazarus, Eden were and honestly Tainted Lost, I think we're going to be skipping out on. I'm not going to pussy out too much on Tainted Keeper though. I'll go for Tainted Keeper. He's hard but not crazy, but these, these three I always have trouble with, especially these two to be honest. I mean, look at our Tainted Lost marks. Um, but I want to try and keep the streak going for as long as we can. I want to at least beat 28. But anyways, let's jump in as Tainted Azazel and see what we can get done. I mean, obviously, we've still got the chance of just dying on any given run if we just um, get unlucky or if I play bad for an extended period of time, which is honestly not super unlikely. Um, I feel like the longer I'm in this streak, the higher the chances are of me really ballsing something up because it's just stressful. Like, it's it's enjoyable, but god damn is it stressful. Honestly, Rainbow Worm, hell yes. And I'm not even going to look for a Tinted Rock. I'm just going to go for this and hope for the best. And it worked out, baby. Okay, let's keep this going. Um, oh my god. I was like, wait a minute, what's going on with my... Uh, What's going on with my brimstone? And I realized the item that I've just picked up. That was... I don't know how I didn't get hit there, I'll be honest. But yeah, Rainbow Worm, it's pretty fun for the most part. There's some stuff here it can do that'll be uh, fairly, fairly bad. <laughs> but for the most part, it's pretty good. Dead Onion. Does Dead Onion do literally anything for us? <laughs> I don't... I genuinely have no idea. Um, range and shot speed have no bearing. Um... I, 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 and piercing and spectral also have no bearing. I genuinely don't think it does anything for us. Which is kind of interesting to, to, to say the least. Kind of an intriguing item to get to off the bat. But eh, whatever. It is what it is. A thing is as a thing does, baby boy. Oh my god. We're gonna go and, uh, oof. I was going to say we're going to go do some min-maxing, especially now we've got a golden bomb we're going to. Let's take a little look, see what we can find. Good, good, good. Ooh, hello. Um, yes, please, I will pop this. Have I got copper golden bombs? Because my explosive radius seems to be bigger than I would expect. I'll take the fool card as well. Uh, world card, sorry, as well. Mr. Worldwide, and we'll try and get another penny to use on that. Um, but this is this is some good stuff. I will min-max the hell out of this floor. Try and get us off a crawl space and such. If I can, that is, if I can. Secret room is next to the cash room as well. That's lovely to see. Gotta love getting the extras. But as for the question of the day today. Hmm. If you could have a golden version of something in your life, like an unlimited version of something, what would it be? N money isn't a good answer, by the way. <laughs> Everyone wants unlimited money. Um, an interesting answer. What would be your sort of go-to for that? I will check the shop before I use the um, the thingy again. What's it called again? Oh, dude. Is that uh, the Ouroboros worm? Not Ouroboros. Uh, I forget the name of it now. Um, the black one. I can't remember what the worm's called now. 15 cent for a spin down is kind of interesting. Okay, so first of all, let's let's check what's in our shop first. We got small rock. I didn't even realize there was a tinted rock there. This is a very good first floor. It's despite the fact that our item that we got is literally worthless from our item room. This has been a really good first floor. Uh, did I check in here? Might as well go for the skulls, at least. Okay, let's see if we get a card or something. No black art, no card. I swear, like, skulls are, like, the worst thing for paying out with stuff. We got a soul heart out of that guy as well. This is a very good first floor. No additional key yet, though, but yeah. Let me check what's in my shop, but sp taking a spin down dice, I'm pretty sure is a good deal. I have to say, I'm pretty sure that the taking a spin down is probably a good idea. Right. Just trying to get the crawl space if I can. Sometimes there isn't one. But you gotta check. But unfortunately, our shop is dookie here. Um, so I think what we'll do is 
will pop two uses of the thingy and then take the spin down. This does mean I can't use the world card, which is kind of not great. It's instead, um, yeah, okay, like, whatever, it doesn't matter, right. Use this twice and try and get soul hearts. Okay, we only get one use out of it anyways. That's fine by me then. Right, so let's go back and get a spin down. I think one use of spin down is really worthwhile because there's just so many good things. Like, we could get consolation prize from our boss here and we've immediately got revelations. So, some really good stuff. Pretty worthwhile. I'd say that on average, you probably wouldn't want to buy that, but this has just been a very good run for money. Um, I'm going to buy the key from the shop as well. I'm not going to use it on that golden chest though, or am I? No, I'm not going to. We've had some issues with find, uh, finding keys for our thingy um, item room in the past. I'm going to play it safe and keep the key. Okay, I don't know why that didn't give me the brimstone curse on this guy. I do have good bombs going on though. There you go. Nice. Uh, we'll definitely just take that. It's good stuff. Um, and boss-wise, we're just going Dark Path here. Nothing special. But this is a very, very, very positive start to a run. A very strong first floor. One second. Oh my god, I can't type. There you go. Right. Yeah, I gotta say, very, very positive first floor. I'm really hoping... I will try and keep the spin down for a... Like, a time where it's going to be the, the most useful. Oh, I forget the brain worm is a part of the worm family. It's just such a good trinket compared to the other worms. So nice to see. Okay, I, I apologize, by the way, if you can hear my door banging a little bit. The wind is uh, moving it somewhat. Gotta remember I don't have brim um, unlimited bombs this floor. I always forget when like, I have golden bombs moving to the next floor, but I don't still have golden bombs. We do get lucky here with a library. Um, hmm. This is pretty interesting. Blank card is obviously pretty good. I'm going to leave those for now. Um, Horror Babylon's really good. Okay, so I'm going I'm to leave those for now. And I'm going to come back to them. Um... I'm going to come back to them once I know what the rest of my floor holds. Because this just might be a better target for spin down, is all I'm thinking. I'll just take this. It's not a particularly good item, uh, but I'll take it. Good. Pills, I'm not really interested in right now with the stats we've got going on. But yeah, I have to see if I get Consolation Prize from my boss first. I think it's Constellation Prize or there's another really common boss item. I can't remember what it is now. That's got a really, really good spin down. I think it's the screw, maybe? There's, there's, there's like two boss items that have like insanely good spin downs. That unfortunately isn't one of them. Devil Deal, I'm going to leave. I think... Oh, dude. No, no, no. I'm going to take it because I want to get rid of this heart now. Um... F Flight plus Spectral isn't that good. This is Unlimited Bombs. I'll take you. I'll take you. Just because you're Unlimited Bombs. You are a little unsafe because we do have to charge our shots. I'm sure I'll get myself hit a little bit. But Unlimited Bombs is pretty goddamn valuable, I'd say. You just gotta be slightly careful about charging up. I think it does take slightly longer to charge than our shot. No, it's the exact same. So we're gonna need to fire it up here. Uh, this is good too for regaining some of that health we just lost. We're just gonna have to be slightly cautious about our positioning. And hope for some fire rate increases, basically so we can outpace this guy's charge up. What are these spiders? Fuck you. Right. Doing my due diligence here. Oh, okay, that was stupid. I had him, like, layered over the top of that then. My bad. Um, so, item room we've, we've been to and did it again. Literally walk right into that. My stupid, stupid fault. 
I'm going to do that a lot over the course of this run. This probably wasn't a great pickup, but unlimited bombs is one of those things where it's like too good to pass up. Right, so question is, does it spin down multiple things or not? I'm going to try it. I'm going to spin down. Okay, it does spin down both. I wasn't sure if it did. This is very nice. So Horror Babylons, of course, ace here. Get a nice speed up, a very good damage up, and we get blank card now as well. I'd say that's pretty good going for us. Um, and we're just going to go in here and grab ourselves a soul heart from the machine. Lovely. Lots of machines giving us soul hearts at the minute. Very nice. It's very nice. But yeah, haven't had a blank card run in quite some time. So I'm intrigued to see how this ends up going. I'm not exactly sure what card we're going to end up using with it right now. Um, another library. Weird. Weird. I'll come back to that once I've got another key. Did I look for second secret room? Yeah, I did. I found second secret room. Did I find normal secret room is the question. I don't think I did. Good. Pop in here real quick. Little Steven, he's fine. Fine little chap. Did unfortunately steal some of my charge there, but it's not terrible. I'm thinking of dropping Rainbow Worm, honestly. It's 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 interesting, but a little annoying. Just there's just a few of the, the worms that are just not useful to us. There's a few that are really good too, so it's kind of a toss-up to be honest. See, now that, that makes the decision very, very simple. <laughs> Getting a way, way, way better um, thingy. Oh, hello, corpse flower. Um, we will try ourselves to buy that if we can. Obviously, money right now isn't great. The problem here is the rooms where there's a lot of uh, detritus in the way. Apple of Sodom is also really good, but I think Safety Scissors is overall the best thing to go for. Because with Safety Scissors, we can get unlimited bombs. Although we already have unlimited bombs with this guy, so this is a little annoying. I don't know what to think, really. Hoping for another key here so I can get into my shop and blow up my donation machine. I've really been abusing the hell out of my donation machine, but I think on a streak, you kind of have to. Right, keep it moving. Keep it moving. I mean, we should, we should be checking for Magic Mush as well here. If we can get Magic Mush, it would be nice. We're not going for Boss Rush or anything here, so I'm not in any rush. I said that I was going to min-max on these streaks, and that I am. Fortunately, a hell of a lot of pills, but I'm not taking pills in this run right now. Hey, there's our additional key. So we're going to go to the library, realistically, only for, for one reason. Um, because we want to get Bookworm. We don't really care about much else, but there's also the potential chance of us getting some HP. Oh, come on, that wasn't quite close enough. You go. Oh, a Golden Pill. Okay, we'll take Golden Pill. I will take a Golden Pill. Um, we're getting a bunch of hematemesis here, so I'm just gonna. Okay, we we we're, we're all out now. I, I'm I'm questioning it. I think I I think Apple of Sodom is gonna be overall just better for us. Like, look at that. That's so many spiders and stuff. That's so good. Like, I think overall it's gonna be better for us. Than safe. Safety scissors is really good, but in this situation where we're not taking red heart health and stuff, I think Apple of Sodom makes a bit more sense. You don't get many runs where you get to use Apple of Sodom to the fullest of its abilities. But I feel like I, I, I owe it to the item to do so. This guy's a little hard to aim now that we've got little Steven. I'll be honest, he's uh, dragging behind a little bit. So indeed, we did get something good here. Um, question is, do I want to use it before or after the boss fight? Cards, we get the Magician and the Devil. Magician for now, I think, is the better one. I guess I'll use it after the boss fight, because I'd rather have a boss item right now. Although, I, I might just get a HP up, but at the same time, I can't really afford a... Um... Don't like this. 
Okay, luckily I can actually get around that pretty easily. Okay, not too bad. Um, yeah, I gotta say, I think this is the better way to do it, because... I, don't, I can't really afford a devil item right now at three soul heart costs, especially if we get another devil deal. I've already locked myself into the devil deals, so maybe I want the HP to, to be able to take devil deals at this point. Oh, come on, little, little lamb boy. Good, good, right. Um, We go for this first. We use our space bar. Unfortunately, does not give Herming to our bomb buddy. We got a devil item anyways, so that's fine. Uh, Transforming into a stronger version of themselves, half the HP. I'll take it. It's kind of an intriguing one. Um, and then we'll go to our uh, thingy room here to bomb our donation machine and hope that we get the required money. We might not. If we don't, it's sort of okay, but I'll be a bit upset. Okay, I think we got enough there. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. And for the second run in a row, is it or at least second run in, in a few runs, we're getting the uh, the corpse flower again. The corpse flower is a real thing, by the way. I don't know if any of you know what the corpse flower is, but it's really intriguing. Basically, it's this fucking massive flower that only blooms like once in a blue moon. I think it's like once every like four years or something that it blooms. It's really rare. And it blooms for like, I think it's 48 or 72 hours. It's really, really short. And for that entire period, it's absolutely reeks of rotting corpses, like a human corpse. It reeks of rotting corpses. It's a really bizarre flower. Yeah, I I'm liking, I'm liking having Magician. Right, obviously right now this is kind of silly because I effectively just have a, um, the Magician book, whatever it's called. Um, Teleprofly for Dummies. It's obviously not very valuable, uh, overall, but it's, it's something, it's some power we're gaining and Obviously, eventually, we will come across better um, and more applicable cards. So we're just waiting for that moment at the moment. These enemies are still bugged out. They don't do any damage or anything. Don't know what's going on with those fellas. Okay, this is a room where the lamb could screw us. Good. Item room. Oh, friendly sack. I gotta love it. Friendly sack's pretty amazing here. He do be friendly. He do be friendly. I love the fact that I can take out Hurst in a single hit. There's a lot of negatives to the lamb, but there's also a lot of positives too. I'm, I'm quite liking having him around. He's my little lammy, lammy, lammy. Magician, please stick with that. Like I said, we just need some fire it up so we're not always firing with the lamb. We can fire, like, irregardless of him. That, that'll, that'll put us in a way safer spot. I'm not really using my Brimstone's Curse at the moment, I'll be honest, but... I don't really need it, so it's kind of fine. Uh, old bandage we'll take so we can trade for a devil deal here. Um, we do get nine lives and flight. Um, yes. And yes. I know that's quite a lot of HP to trade away, but I feel like that's pretty f valuable, and we do get nine lives out of it as well. We're doing pretty pretty well on not getting hit so far, I'd say, irrespective of having the, the lamb boy. Ruining things for us. And also, Flight allows us to take some more liberties with our Lamb Boy as well. Stuff like that. It's fine. It's all good. Right, I still want to do my extra rooms where I can. I'll try and find my secret room at some point. Do these guys drop anything? They, they do class as mushrooms, I'm fairly sure. I'm just not sure if they drop anything. There's our secret room. Good, good, good. I'm not sure how burn hearts work with with um, Horror Babylon. I'll be honest. Unfortunately, we got a thingy room here, but we don't have keys for it. We got one key for it. We'll see if we can get the second. Um, let me go and have a look if Horror Babylon gets deactivated by um, thingies. Isaac, Horror of Babylon. 
Horror Babylon. This item is activated of one for Red Heart or less. Um, whenever Isaac has a half Red Heart or less. It doesn't say anything specifically about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna gamble. I'm gonna gamble. Ah, oh, I can't pick up red hearts anyways. Okay, that's fine. That, that stopped me from accidentally picking up red hearts. I could just have this burn heart as an extra hit. I suppose that works out. But yeah, we're looking for an extra key here. We did get the Stephen floor. I'm not interested in the Stephen floor at the moment. Um, an extra key, perhaps. An extra key. Where would we get that? Second secret room is probably the most likely, but I'm not quite seeing where second secret room would be. Maybe the end of this hallway. That wasn't quite a good hit. There you go. We do get two different cards now. Devil and Temperance. Why is Temperance a six room charge? I will pop down the Temperance and bomb it. For a single penny? Wow. Kind of a, kind of a rip off. Lovely. I don't think we're going to get a key from anywhere, to be honest. Um, potentially cash room. I suppose we're only taking half heart damage with a cash room, so I could go for it. It's a little bit of a gamble. But a worthy one, nonetheless. Especially considering we just got a soul heart that we weren't expecting to have. I'll take the gamble. Wow. Great payouts there. Okay, so unfortunately we're leaving the Tainted Treasure Room. I'm trying to think. I think it would be Horror Babylon anyways, which would mean we'd need a full Red Heart. I'm sorry, dude. I don't mean to walk into you. Uh, I think we need a full Red Heart anyways with Horror Babylon. I don't know what else it would trade away from us. So maybe it's fine that we don't take that anyways because I don't have that full Red Heart unless I just filled up my uh, thingy heart. That did fill it up that time with Apple of Sodom. Don't know why. Um, right, down we go. Feeling reasonably good. Definitely want some more HP, but who doesn't? Just give me that fire rate, baby. Lovely. There's that second key, of course. Get one of these grey hearts. I see you hiding back there, buddy. Oh, we got one of these things. One full heart of damage. Ooh. That's tricky, because that... I don't know how valuable that is. Well, that room kind of ended itself. Right. Oh, lamb. My lamb boy. Why you gotta be this way? Got room. All good. Still haven't found a better card yet, but as I said, I'm kind of liking what we got going on here. Reusable magician is pretty nice. We got another little brimstone boy with, with, with a clotty. Nice. Little clotty fella. For some reason I wanted to rhyme that with give me salmonella, but for one, I don't want that, and for two, why would I say that? Strange happenings. A. Hey, refill up that heart. It looks like Horror Babylon is still active um, with... Oh no, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not active with the red heart. The leech is pretty nice here. I'll take leech. So maybe I don't want this burn heart. I want a blood donation machine to get rid of it. I'll have to see. I've, I've not been paying attention enough, I'll be honest. Right. I'm loving Black Doll hurting all the enemies at once here. It's clearing rooms very quickly. Let's do all these extra rooms here. We've got quite the familiar chain going on right now. Extra bomb. Thank you. Good, yeah, I guess if uh, Black Doll basically makes it so when we hit one enemy, all enemies of the same type take damage as well. And it's meaning that we're, we're killing rooms very, very quickly. 
Um, I don't think we want any of that, do we? Unfortunately. Could have been convinced to buy the key, but I don't see the need. Take the panties when you get them. Leech was doing some shenanigans there. You've got a little dip as well. Definitely get at you out of here, my buddy. I think I destroyed the only vent he could pop up out of then, and he just died. Good. All, all the spiders taking damage at once is super, super nice. I th I'm not sure if it's all the enemies of the same type, you know? I think it's like two enemies get paired together. I think that's what it is. I think I'm thinking of another item. There's two enemy items that do similar effects. I got the cracked thingy there. Okay, so... Hey, that activated at that time. I don't know why I, I lost a uh, thingy there. Okay, so... That's what it is. Okay, so we don't want to be picking up any red hearts here. Might want to change Trinket over, because Apple of Sodom's a little risky here. Because we could accidentally pick up something. Didn't really want that to happen. But that's the only thing with Cracked in for me. It does save you some hits here and there. But sometimes I'm kind of okay with the hit. I just want to let the room play out. But there you go. It saved us a hit in the end. And we get ourselves the, the Pony. Which unfortunately isn't something I really want. The speed upgrade is nice. But nothing crazy. Shouldn't have taken that red heart. You fool. And I think we're about ready to go. Let's look for second secret room just quickly, because um, we've got a decent chance of finding it here. It's not there. Probably here. That was, wasn't a good hit. I don't like the fact that my lamb's at the back of my chain. I understand why he is, because um, if he was at the top of your chain, it'd make it kind of difficult to not get hit by him. But it's still a little annoying. What is that? What the hell? Okay, I don't know where second secret room is. It should have been one of those, I thought, but... I guess not. Oh, you little bitch, lamb. You little bitch. Anyways, let's keep it moving. Hopefully, we can get a new card soon because it's yeah. We're, we're sitting we're sitting on the magician for quite some time here, and it's it's okay, but it's not ideal. Oh, Silver heart got away from me there. Oh, silver heart, no. I gotta be really close to enemies to, to, to get the silver heart in time. Gotta be careful sitting over the top of rocks like that, because if, if the lamb's sitting over the top of them too, he'll just straight up hit them. How are you missing, lamb? Okay, actually, I'm kind of, kind of glad you undid that room, because I wasn't happy with how that was going. Yeah, the, the lamb's honestly become kind of useless at this point, because he's so far back. I can't really aim him effectively. I will check in here. Pick up some trinkets on the entire floor. Penny there. Right, yeah, it's, it's, it's a shame he's so far back in our chain. Like, it's literally impossible to aim where we want him to go now. Oh, dude, those silver hearts. I just can't get them back. Oh, I didn't realize you did that, you bitch. I lost my silver heart. It is what it is. That's where we could have got unlimited bombs there. Shame. Nice. Lovely, that made that room a hell of a lot easier, having the herming. Good. Any large room like this is going to be way easier with the herming as well. Oh, the, these enemies are really p massive pains in the ass as well. They just don't pop up. Good, good. We got them there, we got them. Right, what's in here? Rotten baby, 
Okay, we've got Conjoined now, which actually makes the Magician even more valuable. And it makes our fire it worse, which even more so guarantees that we have to fire a bomb now, which is a little annoying. This is Necro 2. We don't want to go yet. We've got plenty of shopping to do first. But yeah, for, for Magician, Conjoined there is pretty good. Otherwise, not so, not so useful. Okay. These rotten babies are getting some kills for us. Shop, we're gonna get Buddy in a Box. My god, we got a familiar chain going that's kind of crazy. And we'll check our card as well. Justice, I really don't think is super worthwhile for us here. It's, it's kind of crazy how long we've gotten without getting a better card here, but it's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Right, I want to go back to my arcade real quick and give up some red health so that I can get back into Horror Babylon. Because my lower speed is starting to depress me slightly. I don't often play these guys. They're often pretty useless, but we'll give it a go. A blackout would be lovely. Oh! Beautiful, you actually gave me the black heart. And a key as well. Okay, nice. Right, that's pretty valuable. We got Horror Babylon reactivated and we got a black heart. I think that's pretty good going. Right, let's go for our boss. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. What was in here again? Eh, I was going to do my dice room, but there's not enough stuff on the floor. I, I had a plan to leave stuff on the floor for it, and I just kind of forgot, I'll be honest. I had a little plan going in my head, but it just it just drifted away from me. Right, good, good. And we are doing the negative here. Devil deal wise, we're trading a heart away for Minos, which isn't a particularly amazing deal, but it's not bad. Minos is decent and it keeps us in Horror Babylon. Right, let's go. Yeah, a bit, bit annoyed we haven't had any fire rate increase throughout this run, or at least nothing noticeable. Um, didn't mean to do that. Uh, cursed Eye. Thanks, game. Really showing me you love me. Um, I don't think it does anything with this character, right? I can't imagine it would. Good. Let's get that key back. My little bomber boy's nuking up everything. He's nuking up a storm. Uh, we can probably get a card from one of these, so I'll, I'll go for this. Also, it's probably worth using our active in here. Careful when he lobs his shots about. Double pin. Beautiful. I can't believe just the crazy amount of familiars we got going on. BFF would be ace this run. Okay, unfortunately just a load of money doesn't particularly help us. I think we've been doing a reasonable job of not hurting ourselves over the course of this run. We've hurt ourselves like two or three times, but... I feel for the amount of value we've gotten out of all the free bombs, that's not actually that bad of a track record. Devil, we keep... Devil keeps showing up, but I just... I, I think damage-wise, we're getting so much more from the Magician, especially now we've got Conjoined. But we've had the Devil card show up like four times now. And like nothing else. I don't even know what card I'm hoping for with Blank Card these days. Now that it doesn't work with runes anymore, it's kind of like nowhere near as good. But it's still an interesting uh, active nonetheless. And like, obviously, you've got the chance to get like... Um, hero font, but that is a 12 room charge, so. Now there's a hit that I'm very, very upset about. I don't even know how I got hit there. Like, I, obviously I know I hit myself with my bomb buddy, but I don't even know how he managed to hit me. It's because I've got so many familiars that he's so disjointed from my positioning that it's, it's very, very difficult for me to actually watch where he is and what he's doing. It's a little bit difficult. 
We're losing quite a lot of HP at the moment, so I'm not particularly happy with him. Not something we can easily alleviate, though, without a fire rate increase, which doesn't look like the game is fond of giving us right now. Um, oh, I was like, why is the room still open? Ha! <laughs> That's perfect. You sit in that position there in the middle. And with conjoined, you literally hit all of them. Good, good. Not particularly enthused with my current HP, but on the other side of that, I do have nine lives. That's a, a little bit of safety. And we are putting out some good damage here. Oh shit, I completely forgot you did that. Like, my lamb is so far back now that when he when he's firing a shot, it's barely going anywhere. Like, look, it's not even that far in front of me. It's not ideal. It's not ideal. Wow. Yeah, that's not, not a great one there. Right. I'm a little bit worried, I have to say. I wouldn't say, like, severely... But I just feel like there's a lot of potential opportunity for us to fuck this up if uh, I don't play really well. Which I've been, I've been known not to do. I mean, we've got the mother fight coming up as well. Which, I have to say, is at least for me at the moment, uh, like a guaranteed one heart damage. I, I, I seem to not be able to fight mother very effectively without taking damage. Now strength is a little better, right? Uh, no, strength isn't even better. I, I, I said it and then immediately I was like, wait, no. I'm hitting all my conjoined shots. It's way better to have a magician. It's kind of funny that we traded a book for what is effectively just another book. We span down a book into a different book. I am liking that we're getting clotties off of our friendly bag, the friendly sack, whatever you want to call it. That is rather nice. The more of them we can get, the happier I'll be. And this little dude here, he's spawning so many fucking minions, it's kind of amazing. He's got this absolute, like, suite of uh, angel fellas trips in behind us, teleporting all over the room, firing feathers at literally everything in sight. It's pretty good. No, I don't want your troll. Big boy's gone now, though. No more, no more new angels. No more new angels. Unfortunately, a wrong way there, and a pretty big one at that. Oh no, there is a big boy, actually. He's still there. He's just hiding underneath me, I think he was. Still getting good stuff with the Apple of Sodom when we can. Fear on that eye just made it turn the hell around. I like that. Come on, HP drops or tinted rocks. Where you at? I probably missed a few tinted rocks, I'll be honest. This this floor I'm so bad at finding tinted rocks on. Hey, there's a HP up, although we'd lose This is tricky, because we'd lose a uh, thingy horror Babylon. I'm gonna take it under the precedence that I'm gonna end up getting a um a devil deal. Like, obviously, it's not a guarantee that I get a devil deal, but I'd say it's a, a reasonable chance. 67% is certainly plausible. If I don't get it, it's just more HP, I guess, for a slightly lower damage pool overall. But I feel like with all our familiars and stuff we got going on right now, our damage really isn't a problem. Right. Okay, the big boy actually is dead now. Hands are doing their thing. Two batteries, mmm. Um. Okay. Sadly, that's not quite as overpowered as I thought it'd be. I was like, maybe they've made an error here and this is insanely overpowered. Sadly, that is not the case. Strength again. Dude, I need a better card than the Magician. It's just, Magician's really good for us right now, even if it's a two-room charge. Oh, 
For shame it isn't one room charge, then it'd be really insane, but wishful thinking. I'm sent to gold. This is the the bit that I, I find so difficult to not get hit on. Like, compared to regular Mum, there's so many extra shots, I feel like. And this is obviously another one that I constantly get hit on. Yeah, there you go. I feel like it's just almost guaranteed damage for me at this point. I find it so hard to not get hit on that phase. Oh, dude, I got hit again there. Fuck's sake. Not good hits, not good hits. The Pact. It's very risky. But I'll take the Pact. This is good damage, and it puts us back in Horror Babylon, so our damage is now really good. And we're taking Dark Path here. Okay, little bit risky here, I think. Overall, things are a little saucy. Yeah, this guy does Brimstone, so just don't stand next to him. Okay, we killed him before I did. Tears up! Holy shit, that's crazy. Good. I hurt myself there? What the fuck? I was itching my nose. What happened? I don't even know what I did. I was itching my nose and I just took damage. Whoops. I think I let go of my uh, trigger. Like my arrow key while I was facing a wall or something maybe? I don't exactly know. You lamb bastard. I, I literally can't even aim him anymore. He's so far behind. I think he's one of those items that I keep thinking is good. And he's he, he he does have some good properties, but he's just too big of a liability to to keep around on a permanent basis. This is a rough room, especially considering these guys teleport now. That actually isn't so bad. An interesting room that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Not particularly worthwhile. Oh, dude, my nerves. I'm a little bit stressed out at the minute because this is not, I wouldn't say it's like a super high chance of death, but this isn't like a great run. Uh, where am I? I got really confused at where I was on screen then. But yeah, like this isn't like crazy bad, but it's also not crazy good. Start using some bombs on our skulls here to try and get a black heart or a better card. There's a black heart. Hermit. That's another black heart. Did we pass by any other skulls that I didn't really acknowledge? Surely we did. I'm not going to do any extra rooms, of course, but I will blow up some skulls if they're available to me. Nope, I didn't. Okay. I mean, technically, we could uh, pop the Hermit card to get into the cash room for free. I'll, I'll do that, at least. It could take us to a room we don't want to be in, but the chance of getting HP out of the cash room is reasonable. I think it's worth doing. Go. Yeah. Oh, this was so worthwhile. Holy shit. I got that room and I was like, just enemies? This is crap. I was so wrong. Our health is looking so much better now. Okay, I'm in way better position. This happened on, the, on another run as well where I explored Shul and ended up getting loads of stuff. I don't know why I decided to go into this room here. Unfortunately, this is another boss that hits me all the goddamn time. Luckily, I've got high speed, so it's not as likely. Say that and get hit straight away. Well, he, he will... I was about to say, he will give us an item or a black heart, uh, soul heart even, but I was kind of hoping for the, the, the soul heart or black heart, but honestly, prank cookie's pretty good, obviously. We've had it quite a few times before. I would definitely not classify it as bad. It's extra tier effects. It's just I also quite like HP. Oh, the whippy guy just got me. Fuck you. I don't know why, but I just didn't kind of see that coming. Still, our HP is still fine for now.
Another black heart, lovely. Three of spades. This is the best luck I've ever had with skulls and black hearts, I'll be honest. Ah, no black hearts from any of the poops. Those poops are normally pretty good. Ah ha ha. HB. Haza haza. Haza haza. Kill this guy before he goes underground. I think I got him. Yes, I did. Right. Three, two, one. Not a great bombing there, but it worked. I don't know what the hell's happening to him right now. He's kind of frozen in space. Something to do with Prank Cookie, I'm guessing, but whatever. Okay, I did get hit there, unfortunately, but overall that went pretty well. Right, next floor. We'll see if there's any devil deals here that take our fancy, but honestly, unless they give us HP back, there's not a high chance of me taking anything here. Yeah, nothing there's really that interesting to me. Second phase of this guy. Okay, that was insane. He died so fast. Oh, I forgot. I forgot he did that. <laughs> That gives us a black heart back though. Huzzah! <laughs> good, good. I'm only really interested in chests for drops. Holy shit, that's a lot of bombs. That room was tricky. Oh, what the fuck? Is that, is that you, Lammy, that did that? Was that you, Lammy? Did you just do that to me? That's a supercharged hand. Oh, we got a clotty. Hell yeah. First of all, kill this guy. If you can, can you kill this guy? Yeah, you can. Cool. Belly jelly, 50% chance to negate a hit. Sounds very good to me. Have to try it at this point. Do not like the idea of this room at all. Luckily we got through it with pretty much ease. There's a Locust of War back there. I don't even know if I can get back there, though. Okay, sadly wrong way there. Good, good. Nice, easy room. No chest, though. Sad times. I'm, I'm happy we got Belly Jelly. It's the first time I've seen Belly Jelly since we unlocked it, I think. Really goddamn good. Don't you do it. You bastard. I said don't do it. I said don't do it. What did you do? You did it. What? You're still alive? Look at your health, man. Don't you be jerking with me. No, don't don't you continue doing your attack. You dick sponge. There's another enemy in there. I'm still a bit worried about my HP right now. Sissy! Sissy saves the day. It's okay, Sissy's here now. She will literally save the day. Baby, ah, oh, I was like, chance for a soul heart. Sadly not.
These fat shockwave bastards. Good, good. Right. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Got a deceiver heart for a rotten heart there, sadly. We managed to get Brimstone's Curse on both of them there, which is unexpected. Okay, nice one. We did it. That's 20 wins in a row, people. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. Another stressful one. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.